Hi everyone, hope everyone is doing well. Um, yeah, my surroundings look different. That's because they are. I actually, I moved in with my, I just moved in with my parents um, for some recuperation, really, for the next two years. So you'll see this set up probably more often than not. Um, today's book is The Turtle House by Amanda Churchill. It's a debut and I'm going to read from the um, flyleaf. I'm going to read a good chunk of what's mentioned. So I'll, I'll start now. It's spring 1999 and 25 year old Leah Cope and her prickly 73 year old grandmother Minnie Minicol are sharing a bedroom in Curtin, Texas. The ranching town where Lila grew up and Minako came to live as a Japanese war bride. Both women are at a turning point, unable to find a path forward. The Lila, Laya, I think that's how I pronounce, never felt especially close to her grandmother. The two bond over late night conversations. Minako tells stories of her early life in Japan, of the war that changed everything, and of her two great loves. A man named Akio Sato and an abandoned Japanese country estate they called the Turtle House, where their relationship took root. As Miniko reveals more of her past, tales of innocent swimming lessons that blossomed into something more, a friendship nurtured across oceans, totems saved and hidden, the heartbreak of love lost too soon, Maya comes to understand the depth of her grandmother's pain and sacrifice and sees her Texas family in a new light. Laya rec also recognized that she's that it's she who needs to come clean about the budding career she abandoned and the mysterious man who keeps calling. I really love this book. It was quite enjoyable. I believe I gave it a five out of five. I mean, there are some things that weren't perfect, but you know, it's perfect enough. You can't be too picky. Um, I heard about it through Thoughts on a Page and there was an excellent interview with Amanda by the host and I just highly recommend it. If you're tired of World War II fiction, this is perfect. It does still delve into World War II but it's not so focused as some books might be regarding World War II. Um, hope you guys are all doing well and I look forward to posting more videos soon. Bye.